Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. So today we're buying a shop, but before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. Yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvelous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Ha! <laughs> Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And, of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, Running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. You know, the shop won't be available forever. Penny's ten... Madam Mason, about the shop... Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. 
I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. So this nice lady gave us a deal on a shop. She's selling us a shop and a house elf to go with it, which is a great deal uh, for the price. 1,500 galleons, that's more like uh, rent than uh, paying for a shop. Obviously, you have to have that money ahead of time. And when you look at it uh, in terms of perspective, the conjuration uh, spell or scroll for like the two large pots for the room requirement or three medium pots is like double of that price. So it's an exceedingly good price just in term, you know, comparing apples to apples. So she just said that, uh, you know, she can't keep it up and her husband was the one who, you know, passed away at some point. Uh, her husband was the, the shopkeeper who had a passion for it and she doesn't really care and, you know, you can, if uh, for whatever reason that you're not able to do what you need to do, uh, if you can't make a good go at it, that you would sell it back to her at a discount. So that's the terms. And uh, one other thing. She had a trunk uh, full of stuff of her husband's that she would like back. So we need to get that stuff. Ah, and Penny the Elf says, oh, here's the key for that chest. So there we go. It all, it all seems a little suspicious, but you know, you, you go in for the good deal. Like, hey, I'll take a good deal. Why not? A shop in Hogsmeade? That'd be a dream come true. Well, for some people. For some people that aren't uh, into the business aspect, certainly would be like, eh, I don't think so. Anyway, so let's open this chest and uh, get the stuff out, bring it to her, and then... Take it back. Oh, so enchanted chest. Might have a few more things in it than, <laughs> than, than what she let on. All right, so now we're in this almost like a well or a uh, dungeon. Uh-oh. Never a good sign when the way to get out disappears. <laughs> and nothing really unforetold. It's a, a bunch of barrels of mead or butter beer or wine. Something. Storing something. Creepy uh, cobweb place. The only thing I would be concerned about is having some acromantulas with all the webs that are around here. And creepy mannequins. So, got rid of the webs. And the mannequins. You're welcome. <laughs> An elf-sized hat. Well, that's a little weird. Okay, more than a little weird. I mean, certainly that's not the the thing that we were looking for. Ah, here we go. Fastidio. Fastidio. And here we go. So, now we know <laughs> the shop was a good deal, uh, not because she was trying to offload it, but because it was haunted. And we were basically gift-wrapped and said, here you go, 
here's someone to haunt. Ooh, what the heck? It's like uh, an episode of Ghostbusters. You have a ghost go flying right past you. No sliming, though. I mean, honestly, as a someone in, ooh, from Hogwarts, you should be pretty used to having spirits floating around. Yes. Much more dungeon-like here. Well, I can tell already it's going to be a uh, mind-bender. That what's uh, you know what's real, what's fake, what's uh, what's in front of you, and what's there? Is it really there? A whole bunch of bats. It's like a cave. Yeah, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but anything that I can interact with. <laughs> All right, so we got a door. The one side's lit up. There's a lantern on the one side, so uh, I think we just need to move the lantern from here over there. Come on, you can do it. One of my only gripes about when Guardian Leviosa is that you can't manipulate objects more than what you can, like you up and down, but you can't bring it closer to you without, or you can't bring it closer to you, I should say. So if you need it closer than what it is, you have to move yourself back. All right. So we got the lantern into the uh, hand like grasping mechanism and open the door so let's see oh yeah the old the corridor is a lot longer than what you think it is and whoa what just happened so i have a feeling that we're going to need lumos a lot and uh you know of course rebellio is uh necessary no matter what Ah, and there he is. The ghost of the hour. So, initially, I thought maybe it was her uh, her late husband. That, uh, you know, she he passed away, but he remained within the shop. Or within the the chest in the shop but I'm not so sure anymore I think it might just be a uh, haunted haunted chest that uh, came with the shop and she just happened to be causing problems uh, with other people or you know uh, grifting grifting other people because if she's getting 1500 galleons every time someone is interested in a shop and then you know they can't uh, make a go of it because it's haunted let's get rid of some of the, the cobwebs here obviously well I don't know I don't know if it's that there just haven't been people in this section, or if it's something else. Yeah, I mean, obviously everything isn't as it appears to be. All right, so let's grab this. There was a thing right over here. So, uh, there we go. Ah. Uh, open that up. Easily not really sure what what you're, you're ever looking at or what's going on. So it's a little uh, great or not great. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay. 
So, uh, where's my chess pieces? This is definitely looks like wizard chess. But the real danger isn't the chess pieces itself. It's the, uh, it looks like it's the board. You know what's really hard to tell is if <laughs> is it the, the white pieces that are danger. Oh, and that's the danger. <laughs> you fall into a pit. All right, so I can jump across here. And there we go. You can kind of see that the, at least the white ones you can easily see are cracked and ready to break apart. The other one, the black ones might be a little bit harder to tell which ones without using Revelio. Obviously Revelio is the way to go. All right, so there's the hand. And I guess we gotta grab this one. Well, well, if nothing else, we'll find out what's going on. I mean, that only opened the uh, the wall to that section to get over here. So there we go. Never know if it's <laughs> in the right spot or not. Ah, okay. So instead of going back exactly to the same place where we went over here, there's a lantern right here and we just need to bring it back up ah, this looks familiar bring it back over to this door and there we go half of it done already look at that all these cobwebs though they have got to go i do like the little effect of them burning off though too <laughs> i can't lie it's pretty cool watching it. Ooh, look at that. That just sent a cascade. Going all the way across. That's pretty cool. Alright. Creepy mannequins. There's something down the way. Uh, there's another mannequin. Mannequins everywhere. Be gone. Ooh. Ah, see, it's not just paranoia. <laughs> you never know which of these things are going to get flung at you. Way too many mannequins for my liking. Ooh. What the heck? It's like this guy's got a, a thing for mannequins. Oh, there we go. A rickety half bridge. I mean, you can tell there's nothing supporting it. It's just kind of floating in the air. And all of these doors. Doors, 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 and more doors. All right, let's... I don't want it to fall into the abyss. <laughs> there we go. I think that's it. Maybe? All right. Woo. All right. So, need to get across here. I assume all the way. Yeah. I wouldn't accept the seat from you, sir. Especially not if you're going to fling it at my face. But Fastidio is... What the heck? Um, I would say he's been a ghost for a while because he's got the, the powder and the, the wig and... Closer to a hundred years before. All right, we need to go back here to that middle section. There we go. There's a lantern right on the other side of the 
Yeah. You guys saw that too. <laughs> it looked like there was a, another lantern. All right, so... All right. I don't want to back up into a pit. Come on. In the door. You can do it. There we go. And... All right. So that built the bridge, but... It did not open the door, so I think we're going to have to go over, back over there. Back to that middle, middle section. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was half hoping that if I go just up to the door, it would open. Since that has happened uh, at least once. Yeah, see, there's a lantern right there. So I assume we need to pull that and put that here. Whoop. Close to the edge there. <laughs> All right, I think that, did that open the door? I guess we'll find out. All right, let's go back and see what's happening. Oop, and look out for holes. All right, we made it. Oh, oh. see, creepy mannequins are after you. Boom. I think we got two with one. Ooh, and there's more coming. Out the doors. Multiplying. All right, we got to try and get this Glacius Blast, which is a uh, talent. Talent for Glacius. You freeze someone, and then you just ping them with your basic magic. And they've got like a small radius around them. So you basically need two guys right next to each other. Hurry! Dueling feats. And it gives you a little bonus XP at the same time. Alright, so go through the door that's open. <laughs> that little dark spot looked a little bit too much like a hole. What happened? And the door disappeared. So now we got to go. Oh, there we go. Here's an opening. And nothing else. So this has to be it. I had to wonder. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. No mannequins. Alright. If nothing else, we'll have some stuff to sell. Uh, okay. So just go back. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Another table with a uh, lantern on it. So we'll go pick that up. Put that on the uh, lantern holder and should open the door. That lit up. And there we go. We did it. Explore the atrium. Oof. <laughs> he thinks it's playtime. Yeah, yeah, he even says play with the poltergeist. Yeah, he's going to be flinging stuff around, it looks like. Alright, oh, nope. Now we got some more creepy mannequins to deal with. Gotta wait for them to pop out of the, the woodwork, literally. There, got the dueling feet out of the way. Got whacked as a result. Boom! Oof. 
There we go. I took out a whole bunch of them. Ooh. And you're just going to side swipe me with it. Might as well have stabbed me in the back. That was close. That was really close. One more uh, unknown attack and I would have been out. Good thing is you get your health back at the end of the, after the battle's over. All right, so we're done with this section. Woo! What a relief. Oh, look at that. So we, each side unbars one section of the door. So I imagine that the library will be uh, at least somewhat similar. Yes. You see that? Got uh, the doors, and we need a lantern, two lanterns, just like previously. Nope. Not playing that game. <laughs> I'm not waiting for you to pick it up and throw it at me. Yeah, so it's like a, you, you need two lanterns for each section, so it's four lanterns in each section in order to get to it is... You know, it's got subsections. The subsections have subsections. All right. So I think I can just go through the door. I imagine... Wow, this looks this looks vaguely <laughs> eerily familiar. Oh, look, it's a way out. Except for that red glow. Jump, get up, get up. Well, that didn't turn out how I wanted. Hit the stairs and then get out and say see you later <laughs> all right so what do we got to do this time um yeah i saw something <laughs> I saw something glowing. All right, so are we just going in a circle? <laughs> and now there is no way to get out. Ah, okay. So retrace our steps. So you see the uh, footsteps go in the opposite direction. Man, this is, <laughs> like I said, this is just messing with your mind. Like, it should be something, it should, something should have been there, but it wasn't there, and the way that we got there was no longer there, and then we turned around, what, what was that? Was that? that was a little... Too close to being ambushed by an acromantula for my liking. <laughs> I'm boxed in. Uh, ooh, look at that. Lights go out and look what happens. Yeah, the use of, of light is, and lack of light, is pretty almost unnerving. There we go. Look at that. Get next to the door and the door opens. <laughs> Just a table in the middle of the room with a little jack-in-the-box. Uh, 
say, just say no to mannequins. Alright, so we need to, now we just got kind of plopped down in the middle of a space, teleported, whatever. Or maybe we're just running in a circle, like a, a VR. This whole thing is like a haunted VR, <laughs> where you're not actually going anywhere, you're just standing in one spot. You never really know. All right, Glacius Blast and Chomping Cabbage. So there we go. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, we got that. Got the uh, Chomping Cabbage, but not the uh, Glacius Blast. There's some more guys here somewhere. There we go. And... Nope. He's not close enough now. Now it's like, okay. Wait for that Glacius to pop back up. And... Nope. <laughs> nope, it didn't work. You have to hit him with a, a basic cast. Hitting him with Confringo after Glacius doesn't work. I think there's two more guys, so I got one more shot at, uh, or just don't worry about it. There he is. Yeah. At some point you say, eh, it's a little too much work. <laughs> and now it's all opened up. I think it's just... A painting. I don't think it's actually anything. Just unusual lighting situation with it. All right. Are we done? Yes. We've got the uh, <laughs> tome, sweet tome. I mean, honestly, it'd be pretty cool to have a library this big. But what books do you have? Alright, so we got one. Now we just have to get the other one from the other side of the library. Let's see what we have in store for us this time around. Ooh. whole room rotated yeah ceilings on the floor and the floor is on the ceiling all right so let's see if we can make heads or tails of this whole room situation funny because <laughs> the ceiling is literally on the floor all right so go up here and door doesn't open ah here we go Got the lantern in a nook over there. And just have to get it to the... Oh, okay. Just need to get it over there. And now we can put it where it needs to go. There we go. Yes. Moving on. Ooh. Everything rotated again. Or a room rotated. <laughs> All right, so let's check it out. There was a hand there for a lantern, maybe? Or maybe that's one that we already saw. Alright, so... <laughs> okay, there's a lantern. And... Alright, come on. <laughs> you 
You can do it. So I see the little outline behind me there. So do I need to bring it back there? Oop. And the door closed behind me. So that's not the way. The only way is forward. But which way is forward? <laughs> which way is forward or which way is up? Here we go. There we go. All right. Now the way is open. And we're going to grab that lantern that we just put down. Whole room's rotating again. And oh, here we go. And the door opens, and we're on to the next section. Are we done with this section? Oh, we are done. Nice. So does that mean we're done? Did we earn our way out? Oop. Uh, health potions. Don't need them, but that also means <laughs> that we're not on our way out yet. Mm. Another encounter with the uh, poltergeist, Fastidio. Oh, man. At least he's got a little bit of a light around him so you can see him. Can't do any damage. That's not fair, dude. You can damage me, but I can't damage you. Boo. Boo. Okay, you see a little red light on the floor. At least you know where it's coming down. All right, so that was actually not too bad. Not too bad. No uh, enemies to deal with, just obstacles to avoid. All right, so I think this was probably intended to be first, but <laughs> when do we ever do things in order? Yes, doors open. Is it time to leave? Through the dungeon. Oh, yeah, look at this. I mean, not that it means anything. Outside of the dungeon and into the quote outdoors. Ah, here we go. The boss encounter is Vestigio going to face us one on one, mano a mano? <laughs> Relatively unscathed, of course. Of course I want to go. Usually in a straight jacket. Ah. <laughs> uh, if only you had corporeal form. So here's the deal. So we have to match wits with them and agree to give him unfettered access. <laughs> and he's got a whole laundry list of things that he wants. Leave your customers alone and you the other times. <laughs> Don't really have a choice, do we? All right. So game of wits, huh? What does that mean exactly? I'm not sure where that came from. Ah, uh, th that's not really uh, wits. Ooh, where did that come from? <laughs> All right, get him. You're my monster now. 
makes it easier if he's just going to stand there so I can ping him. Yeah, so I can't actually do any damage to Fastigio. Now, obviously, if you don't have uh, unforgivable curses, you'll have uh, open slots for other other magic. But uh, honestly, it seems like it makes it a lot easier. Much stronger magic, even if it's not you know, morally acceptable to use. Uh, now we got phase two. We got minion mannequins and also. Whew, that was close. So it seems kind of like the monster is a uh, troll type monster. The attacks that I've seen so far have been very, uh, very much like that. All right, so let's uh, use some ancient magic. Yeah, that's that's totally troll animation, but with old rundown furniture and barrels. All right, so we're probably gonna have something else once we get down to a third, up to a nice respectable combo 60. Let's keep that going. So, so far this battle seems to be going pretty well. Ooh, there we go. Smash. There we go. Good combo on that one. Back down to... What's going on? Uh, now the controls are all wonky. That's not good. There we go, that'll make it easier. <laughs> Just stand there and let me ping at you. Luckily these spells come back a little bit faster with every basic magic cast that I do. And, oh, not under my control anymore. Hit him with Crucio. And then, there we go, ping him with Imperio again. And, uh, hopefully... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Whew. Oh, uh, and down he goes. Yes. Finally, <laughs> we can leave. I am not giving you the satisfaction to say that you terrified me with your weird mannequin dungeon. Yeah, about that contract. Got a couple questions. Yeah. I think I know. There we go. No comparison to see customer's face. That's relatively harmless compared to what he did to us. Yeah. Let's look at those terms specifically. Have my fun at least one day a month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly in peace. What? Yeah, one small addendum. Yeah, make a, make a little change there. <laughs> yes, I did. Ah, there we go. Only after 9 o'clock in the evening. No dice. One day a month, and that's it. Ah. Uh, now, why would you do that? Two days a month instead of one? I had a feeling about you. 
Cassandra? You're in cahoots with Cassandra? No. Well, I've got someone to go see. I gotta give someone an earful. Alright, so let's go talk to that house elf. See what she has to say now. Hiding in the corner, I see. Oh no, she's working. <laughs> I bet you are. Are you surprised? <laughs> you knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Yeah. Was beginning to think yet, another yet another shopkeeper. <laughs> Say mongos. Yeah, you should explain yourself. Stop holding your breath. I own the shop now. Uh oh. Well, that's not right. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I yeah. Penny's confused. Penny thought that if you came back. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, man. So we're going to have to get to the bottom of this. Which is culminating into. Another boss fight, I think. Yeah, let's go talk to Officer Singer. And I think we'll probably uh, end it there. Talk to the officer, get to the boss fight, and then that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media, and thank you for liking commenting and subscribing and we'll see you next time sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon i cassandra mason sold you her shop i am perfectly capable of owning a shop but more importantly did you not hear the bit about the dungeon no no i, I heard that bit too and, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that she sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! should have known better than to do business with a wild student. <laughs> Let me out, go! 
at school these days. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon always crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Smoldy little break myself! I should have known it was... Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. I look forward to working with you. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny will be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Thank you. 